I am multiple. We are all multiple. But growing up, I did not know this. Time, identity, community, it all made me feel confused. Once I turned 19, I truly started to grow into myself. I cut my hair. I started spending more time alone. I realized that I loved looking at GQ magazines and listening to music that made me feel like I had the rage of a 20-year-old man. Pearl Jam and Moses Sumney, those two are multiplicity. Those two help me realize who I am. But growing takes time, and if there's something that I've learned, is that growing pains really, really fucking hurt. And there are days when finding the right words felt like searching through a pile of mis mismatched socks, trying to find two that were perfect for each other. I couldn't even find the right words for today. And so it all comes back to reflection, spending time in my own brain, time alone in my own room, looking up at the ceiling with this sinking feeling in my chest. Most nights I stay up, laying in bed listening to music, trying to find the right words for myself. The one thing that only truly ever makes sense to me is multiplicity. I was listening to Also, 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 And, And, And by Moses Sumney, and things slowly started to come together. I am multiple. I have multiplicity. I am free to express this multiplicity, and I am free to explore it. Living in my multiplicity allowed me to understand that I am gender fluid. Living in my vulnerability allowed me to live in my multiplicity. And that is the biggest lesson I've learned. And I truly believe it is one of the most important things I will ever learn. It is one of the most important things any of us could ever learn. Multiplicity allows the, me the flexibility to still be who I am through those growing pains. It gives me solace when it feels like no one in the entire world will ever be able to understand how I feel on the inside. Multiplicity allows me to be who I was, who I am, and who I will be. That is why I continue to explore myself. That is why I allow myself the vulnerability of being gender fluid. And there are some days when I wake up and I'm still unsure of this label that I've put on something that I've felt for so long. This label that I've put on something that I can't even explain without knowing that other people can feel it. It's not really like a perfectly wrapped present. It's like the feeling you get when you open that present. The feeling you get when you're looking at that present and thinking about all that's inside of it. I don't even think that there are the right words to finish this off with. Um, other than multiplicity and expressing multiplicity and living in multiplicity and giving yourself the grace to explore that. You.